Hello all, today let us know about iron deficiency anemia. Iron as we know is a very important nutrient and it plays a major role in the development of brain and overall human body. Anemia is low hemoglobin level. Hemoglobin is required for the transport of oxygen throughout the human body and even the tiniest cell needs oxygen. When the hemoglobin level falls below the normal range, that is when iron deficiency anemia sets in. What are the causes of iron deficiency anemia? Diet. Nowadays, our diet lack iron. So we advise you to add a good amount of iron rich foods in our children's diet. Children who take a majority of milk based diet pose a risk of iron deficiency anemia. This is because the milk in the diet hampers iron absorption into the body. When a baby undergoes rapid growth, the nutritional requirement increases. If the demand is not met by the supply, deficiency sets in. Remember, babies with low birth weight and preterm babies are more prone to develop iron deficiency anemia. When can you suspect iron deficiency anemia in your child? If your child is irritable, he gets tired on doing even simple activities, he is not eating his food properly, but very fond of eating non-nutritious substances like chalk, mud, etc. He is not gaining proper weight. All these are symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. Let's have a look on iron rich foods. In cereals, we have wheat, millets, millets as in tinai, same, oats, brown rice, jaggery. While it comes to fruits, there are plenty of options pomegranate, apple, papaya, dry grapes, badam, dates, groundnuts. In green leafy vegetables, you can give them broccoli, our own murunga kire, spinach, that is palak, beetroot. If you are a non-veg eater, you can add liver, meat of goat and chicken, eggs, fish and you can also give your children sprouts. Don't worry, you as parent can change this by providing iron rich food to your child and the next time you take him to your pediatrician, please mention about these symptoms. They might order for a simple blood test to check the hemoglobin levels. If the hemoglobin level falls below the normal range, they might advise you for a deworming syrup, after which they will put you on an iron drops or syrup which has to be taken for 3 months. This will correct the nutritional deficiency and your child will be fine and normal. One thing you need to remember is, when you give some orange juice along with iron drops, the absorption of the iron is better. One food that you are not supposed to give with the iron drops is milk as this hampers the absorption of iron. <music>